Episode 15 starts with Lord chasing Leela and Trixie by shooting goals. Leela and Trixie shoots Jules and Gale against him. And yes, Gale, aka Bluster, is back to his Mega Map form. It's not just him, but we can also see Whiff and Thresher back to regular Mega Map form later in the episode. Leela and Trixie reaches a dead end when Lord almost got them. Trixie shoots Jules and it saves some time. Spinner tells them to try him to cross the dead end and when shot, Spinner creates a web bridge. Thresher bites and cuts the bridge to stop Lord. Also, this is when we realize he is back to Mega Map form. Now, Eli shoots Spinner again to make another bridge. When they are ready to cross, we see Locke coming from the other side. With Locke and Lord on either sides, Eli and Trixie are trapped. Locke and Lord offers to leave them if they give Uni. Both Eli and Trixie deny to it. But Uni says let them agree and gives a plan to Eli. They agree to hand over Uni and Locke lets them move forward. When they reach off of bridge, Locke puts Preza on bridge and cuts it and says he will let them get out if they give Uni. Eli behaves as if he gave Uni and then shoots it. Then Uni uses Tormentor Slug Power to trap Locke in the web bridge which also gets Eli and Trixie to safety. I am really so satisfied with how amazing and smart this movie is. Then Lord tries to attack from the other end when Trixie shoots with who can be confirmed back to Magamoth from here and the episode ends here. I have no repeat scenes or animation error complaints in this episode like previous episodes. And I felt everything is new, especially the way Uni used Tormentor Power. I became a fan. Okay, also as far as I know, there won't be any just filler episodes from now as we are almost in the final adventure. Next episode, episode 16 is From the Deep and we are going to see the you know who villain in the next episode. I am thinking to make a video on spoilers of episode 16. Let me know if I should make it or not in comments. Thanks for watching.